In this video, I will be teaching you how to find the sum of terms of a finite or infinite geometric sequence. So let's start with finite geometric sequence. And we're tasked to find the sum of the given sequence. So here's the given sequence, and this is a, um, a geometric sequence with a ratio, common ratio of 2. So it's 8 times 2, 16. 16 times 2 32, 32 times 2 64, 64 times 2 is 128. And it is also a finite geometric sequence because it ends with, uh, it has an ending. It ends with 128 and it ends with 8. So th there are extremes. So we call it extremes, the, uh, the upper and the lower extremes, 128 and 8. So there are endings, it's stop. That's why it's called finite. And let's uh, let's add, let's get the sum of these terms, the first term, second, third, fourth, and the fifth term. So to find uh, uh, the sum, we denote this S sub 5. And since it's only 5 terms, then we can just simply add them. 8 plus 16 plus 32 plus 64 plus 128. So that is equal to 248. And that's how easy it is. Now what if we are given the this sum find the sum of the first 15 terms so we have this sequence so this is the given the same sequence as the previous one although there's the the ending is not 128 so this is up to fifth term but we end at the 15th term so this is still finite geometric sequence because there is an end term which is 15 term which is not given so we just write it as question mark so it's not given. We can also we can actually find that 15th term if we want to, but since we are tasked to find the sum, so if it's not necessary, then we don't have to. So um, it, it's hard for us to do it manually by getting by adding all the the terms from 1 to 15. And so what we need to do is to find a general formula to find the sum of a finite geometric sequence. So let us derive it. So let's have S sub n, or the sum of the finite geometric sequence, which will be equal to the first term, A sub 1, plus the second term, A sub 1, times the common ratio. So we can write the A sub 2 in that way, and the A sub 3, or the third term. So the R, the exponent of R keep on increasing, if you're going to start from the first term going up, and so on. So if we're going to start with the last term, this is the last term, this is the a sub n, which is equal to that. That is based on the formula of a sub n, a sub 1 times r to the power of n minus 1. So if we're going to start from the last term, it will, the exponent will be decreasing. It will become n minus 2, n minus 3, and so on. And, and at some point in the middle, they're going to meet, they're going to, they're going to connect, and it will form the whole uh, sequence. So it's the sum of all the terms of the of geometric sequence. And then we're going to use this to derive the formula for the S sub n. So next thing to do is we're going to multiply all the terms by r, or the common ratio, so including the S sub n. So S sub n times r will be r times S sub n, which is equal to, so each term of this, uh, of the of this geometric sequence will be multiplied by r. So a sub 1 becomes a sub 1 times r. a sub 1 r becomes a sub 1 r squared. a sub 1 r squared becomes a sub 1 r cubed, and so on. So the last term, instead of a sub 1 r to the n minus 1, it becomes a sub 1 r to the n. And instead of n minus 2, it becomes n minus 1 because 1 r is added. And then we're going to subtract these two equations. So notice that this part and this will be are, are just the same. So if we are going to subtract it, it will become zero. So it will be canceled. And what's left, it will be only this. So S sub n minus R times S sub n, which is equal to what's left is A sub 1 uh, minus the A sub 1 R to the n. Because that's what's left at the bottom. Then we will simplify this. So let's factor out S sub n. So what's left is 1 minus r. And as well to 
uh, to the to the right. Okay, we'll factor out a sub one. Then divide both by a uh, by one minus r. So what's left is s sub n is equal to a sub one times one minus r to the n over one minus r. But of course, to avoid uh, denominator of zero, the r should not be equal to one. And of course, r is not zero. R cannot be zero, but we don't need to write it because anyway, in the first place, r equals zero is not uh, a geometric sequence. Because if it's r, if r is zero, then it's gonna be uh, whatever is the number. That's the first term. That's, then the second term will be zero. The third term will become zero, and the rest of the terms will become zero. And of course, a sub one can be write uh, can be written as a sub one times r to the power of zero. So if you're going to replace r by zero, it, it becomes zero to the power of zero, which is undefined. That's why if r is zero, then that is not a geometric sequence. So automatic that r cannot be zero. So let us solve now. Let's go back to this problem. So where this is the a sub one up to the 15th term where we don't know what's the last term and we're gonna find the s sub 15 So let us use this formula So observe that the last term is not necessarily needed to find you just need the first term and the common ratio and how the n where the, It is asking how many terms there are, but you don't need to know what is the last term So that's unnecessary to solve and so let's substitute n is 15 and copy the rest we just change the n into 15 and so s15 is equal to the first term is 8 and the common ratio is 2 or positive 2 and then we're gonna change we're gonna uh, change the 2 to the power of 15 we're gonna solve it it will be 32768 And then we're going to subtract 1 minus uh, 32,768. It's going to be negative 32,767. So let's copy the last part. And we're going to multiply the 1 on top. 8 times negative 32,767. And also we can subtract 1 minus 2 at the bottom. So here's the result. Negative 262,136 and for the bottom 1 minus 2 is of course negative 1 So when you divide a, ne a negative divided by negative that will become positive So the sum of the 15 terms will be 262,136 Now let's move to infinite geometric sequence so we're going to find the sum of the given sequence. So this is an infinite geometric sequence with a common ratio of 0.5 or 1 half. So you keep on multiplying 1 half to get the next term, 384 times 1 half. It's the same idea as divided by 2, 192, 96, 48, 24, 12, and 6. So we keep on multiplying 1 half so that we keep on getting the next number. And it is keep on decreasing. So is it possible for us to find the sum of an infinite sequence, an infinite geometric sequence? You might wonder how can you get a sum if there if if the sequence is not stopping, there's no end. You can actually get a sum of an infinite geometric sequence as long as it is decreasing. Why? Because if it's decreasing Although it is it's not stopping, it has a boundary. It is bounded by zero. It keeps on decreasing, but it will never be uh, go beyond zero, go lesser than zero. It will never be go lesser than zero. The same as negative. From a very small number, it keeps on increasing, but it will never uh, go beyond zero. So. That's the idea of, of for that. If it's positive, it, it keeps on decreasing. That's possible to get a sum. If it's negative and it keeps on increasing, and it, it will never be beyond zero, that is uh, that's possible to get a sum. So, and I will tell you what's the common ratio if it's increasing 
if it's negative or if it's decreasing when it's positive so it's possible to get the sum and what's the formula to find the sum of an infinite geometric sequence so let us derive to solve this problem so let's have the s sub infinity or the sum of the infinite geometric sequence which is equal to the first term a sub 1 plus the second term a sub 1 times r plus the third term a sub 1 times r times r or r squared the fourth term and so on and it's infinite infinitely many terms and we're going to multiply all by r so it would be like this r times s sub infinity is equal to a sub 1 will be a sub 1 times r and a sub 1 times r will become a sub 1 r squared and so on then we will subtract so if we are going to subtract this part and this are just exactly the same they are both infinitely many and they both start with a sub 1 times r so we can cancel that and so what's left is this is sub infinity minus r times s sub infinity is equal to a sub 1 a sub 1 is the only one left on the right side then we're going to factor out s sub infinity so it becomes s sub infinity times 1 minus r is equal to let's copy the first term then we're going to divide divide both by 1 minus r so it will be like this a sub 1 over 1 minus r where r uh, the absolute value of r is less than 1 or we can write it this way so it's uh, more understandable the r must be in between negative 1 and 1 so if it's on uh, in between negative 1 and 1 it only means the one half, one fourth, or decimal, 0 0.6, 0 0.8, and so on. Also for negative, negative one half, negative one third. But of course, it doesn't include r equals zero because if r is zero, then the sequence is not geometric. So, uh, if it's positive, you will know it is that it is possible to get a sum if the sequence is getting smaller and smaller, or if it's old. If, it's, if r is negative, then the signs will become alternating, positive, negative. But you will look at the number. If the number, just ignore the negative sign or positive sign. If you look at the number, it keeps on decreasing and it gets closer and closer to zero. It is bounded with zero. And it's possible to get a sum of the this sequence, this infinite geometric sequence. So let us use now this formula to solve the, the problem. So let us solve this. So we have this a while ago. And the r of this is 1 half. So let us use now the formula. a sub 1 over 1 minus r. So let us substitute. So our a sub 1 is 384 over 1 minus our r is 1 half. Then we're going to subtract 1 minus 1 half is 1 half. Then let us divide 384 by 1 half. So let us write it in this way. So it's easier to understand. It's the same, 384 over 1 half and 384 divided by 1 half. They're just the same. Then let's use the operation of dividing fraction. So copy, change, invert. So we change the operation to divide out to times and invert the 1 half into 2 over 1 which is the same as this 384 times 2 so the sum of this infinite uh, geometric sequence is 768 thanks for watching and I hope you have learned from this video please support my channel by pressing the subscribe button and also write the math topics you wanna learn in the comment section